Okay, it's a good question. Now, I have a book here, and I think everyone knows the book, Back to Eden mm -hmm. by Jethro Kloss. He devotes half a page to every herb, but not cane pepper. He devotes 10 pages to cane pepper. It's one of the most remarkable herbs that we have. And a lot of people get confused because Ellen White states that we shouldn't be eating spicy foods or stimulating foods. And it is true that cane pepper is a heating herb. Leviticus 17.11 states that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So anything that moves blood and moves blood a little bit faster to an area is going to increase the healing. And that's what cane pepper does. It is not a nervous system stimulant like caffeine, alcohol, nicotine. It is a blood stimulant. In fact, it is probably the one and only or the major blood stimulant. And so anywhere that cane pepper is applied um, will increase healing to that area. And you say the stomach. Well, if someone's got low hydrochloric acid and they need to boost it, cane pepper is a wonderful booster of hydrochloric acid. And so it is not a bad thing that it heats the stomach. It is actually a good thing because it increases digestion. And it really is a myth too much hydrochloric acid. I've, I've never met anyone with too much hydrochloric acid. Dogs have 10 times the hydrochloric acid that we do. And that's why they can eat rotten food and not kill them. True. So cane pepper. I'd like to read you a little bit from Jethro Kloss. Some of the botanical names. It's, uh, its botanical name is capsicum anum. And the common name is cane pepper. Red pepper, capsicum, Spanish pepper, bird pepper, pod pepper, African pepper, um, African red pepper. So there's quite a few names for it. And a lot of people say, well, what's the distinction between uh, cayenne and chili? Mm -hmm. In some areas, it's not easy to, um, to see the distinction. But the chili comes from the chili family and the cane comes from the capsicum family. So there's a little bit of a difference there. So let me read this again, or a little bit more. It is a pungent stimulant, but as I said, not a, not a nervous system stimulant. It's a tonic. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most wonderful herb medicines that we have, says Jethro Kloss. We do wonderful things with it. We're able to do it with no other herb. And in another book, it's called Curing with Cain by Sam Beiser. That's B-I-S-E-R. And I think you can get that as an e-book. He says, you put cane pepper with any other herb and it'll increase that, the uh, action of those, uh, that other herb. So cane pepper can be used internally. So let's start. It can be used to relieve a sore throat. Yes, it might tingle at first, but after the tingle has subsided, the sore throat will have eased. It can be used in the stomach to uh, help someone with nausea. It can also uh, boost hydrochloric acid, which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. When it gets into the blood, it thins the blood. So it's one of the best blood thinners. It not only thins the blood, but it causes um, a dilation or an opening of all the capillaries. It also strengthens the arterial walls. So it's a remarkable herb and an excellent herb to use for anyone with heart problems. It can be used externally, and externally it can be used wherever you want to increase blood supply to the area. So we've seen people who've lost feeling in their feet, peripheral neuropathy, uh, apply cane compressors to the bottom of their feet, and by morning they're starting to feel pins and needles. People that have chronically cold feet wear the mm -hmm. cane compress overnight and find that by morning their feet are starting to warm. So what you've got to remember is what does cane do? It moves blood. It stimulates blood. So